COVID-19, the pandemic that has brought the world to its knees, was first confirmed in Australia in late January 2020. Ever since the coronavirus appeared on the international scene, scientists and researchers everywhere have been trying to do their best to find out how it spreads and how it can be prevented or treated. People are sometimes particularly sick for several weeks, and what is alarming is that many who are not symptomatic can still be infectious, spreading the illness without even being aware of it. As we speak, we have 484 active cases in the country, and cases continue to decline as the number of Australians recovering from the disease continues to be higher than the number of new infections recovered each day. The unified response of Australians across the length and breadth of this island and public trust in healthcare institutions have boosted Australia's fight against the virus. Another major factor that contributed to this effective management of the virus is that due to its geographical location, Australia was able to seal itself off from the world and prevent new sources of virus from entering. Since the pandemic took hold, over 6,500 people have recovered from the virus in Australia, while 102 lives have been lost. While every death is a tragedy, Australia has been able to mitigate and contain the virus impact, especially when compared to other countries across the world. Age is a major risk factor for COVID-19, and many older Australians have made the difficult decision to stay away from their loved ones in order to keep themselves and the country safe. While optimistic belief is that the country is well on the way to complete recovery, it is still believed that true level of asymptomatic people with the virus who are active in public life could be anywhere between 15 and 24 percent. Keeping this in consideration, the government will possibly wait for another 14 days after getting to zero before opening up travel within the country. Experts believe that a second wave could be in store for many countries across the world. Even if Australia manages to avoid a terrible second wave, a country may still be vulnerable to the third one. It is believed that even by the end of 2020 and entering 2021, a vaccine may not be available and if people start to get complacent, the worst may not yet be over. As a country now begins to feel the economic cost of pandemic, Australians will be forced to face their next great challenge. Thank you.